Emerald Tablets, Book of Wisdom, I believe. Wow, 3333 three, 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 right here. Fire ascends onto fire. This is the process of gaining the immortal body. O oh man, list to the voice of wisdom, list to the voice of light. Mysteries there are in the cosmos that unveiled fill the world with their light. Let he who would be free from the bonds of darkness first divine the material from the immaterial, the fire from the earth. For know ye that... That's subtle breath work. Learning to feel the fire of the mind. You know, the ankh, the breath of radiance. The Zohar, the Sephira. Right? The radiance, the brilliance, the sun behind the sun. And as earth descends to earth, so also fire ascends into fire and becomes one with fire. He who knows the fire that is within himself shall ascend until the eternal fire and dwell in it eternally. Fire, the inner fire is the most potent of all force, for it overcometh all things and penetrates to all things of the earth. Fire. The inner fire is the most potent of all force, for it overcometh all things and penetrates to all things on, of the earth. It is to awaken and blossom the, the flower of fire is to awaken and blossom, right, the sun state, the breath of radiance, to awaken the chariot of the law, the chariot of the light, or law, right, that's what it's all about, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Man supports himself only on that which resists. So earth must resist man, else he existeth not. This is, that's really important. The transcendence happens when you realize that everything you feel is pressure. And that relationship between pressure inside of you and feeling is really like reveals how you can move the subtle energy through you by breaking down walls through like it's just it's the union of poles really it's kind of hard to explain you know it comes into that principle of all is vibration and all is mind first you know and then breathing through the waters and then allowing them to balance it's basically observing all feelings from an absolutely neutral place everything you hate love you know like is uncomfortable, tight, painful, and then having piercing perception, practicing the, the piercing perception of the breath and the subtle breath, the breath of light. All eyes do not see with the same vision. For to one an object appears of one form and color and to a different eye of another. So also the infinite fire, changing from color to color, is never the same from day to day. Thus speak I, Thoth of my wisdom, for man is a fire burning bright through the night, never is quenched in the veil of the darkness, never is quenched by the veil of the night. Hark ye, old man, and list to this wisdom. Where do name and form cease? Only in consciousness, invisible, an infinite force of radiance bright. The forms that ye create by brightening thy vision are truly effects that follow thy cause. Holy shit. Man is a... This is like, the Emerald Tablets are insane. Fucking nuts. That is like some of the most profound poetic wisdom I've ever heard in my life at the bottom there. The forms that ye create by brightening thy vision are truly effects that follow thy cause. What he means by brightening his vision is, you know, basically illuminating consciousness by the invisible, by the invisible infinite force of radiant light that burns radiance and bright. He's talking about the Shiva principle. When you can gain the awareness, you know, 
of the fourth self, the one behind the thoughts, the feelings at all. When you gain awareness of that plane, right, and start breathing into that subtle etheric chi plane, right, you're gaining the breath of radiance bright, and therefore you're awakening your to a you awaken to a brighter vision, right? Reality changes when the way you see the world, like when how you see the world changes, the world will change. <laughs> you know, it's just like your perception is the experience, but also when when your vision brightens, that vision is brightening because you have more like soul illumination, knowledge and wisdom, and wisdom is power, and power is wisdom. They're united and one and the same, right? Know the cause. The cause is always on the spiritual causal plane. The causal plane is stillness. You are literally dreaming into yourself. You are dreaming into yourself and this is like your waking dream right here and now, but you're also manifesting through into the body, okay? The causal plane is still. Okay, you have to imagine like and basically like give birth to this immortal esoteric body where you perceive this reality and this reality in fact moves through you. You no longer move. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like probably not, you know. Just we're getting really deep there. The cause is the causal plane, which is the plane of spirit. Okay? Earth is the reactive plane or like the the manifest plane. It's the unmanifest and the manifest in the words of Hermes, right? And like I love Manly Hall, like spirit circumscribes a circle and manifests himself within it onto the earth, right? And the earth, yeah, like, you know, as above, so below kind of thing is slower to react because the cause co must come through density, right? But everything on the earth takes a little longer to manifest, but it is all effects of unseen causes. We are effects of our astral light, you know, of like our etheric energy. Bright. The forms that ye create by brightening thy vision are truly effects that follow thy calls. Man is a star bound to a body until in the end he is free through his strife. Only struggle and toiling thy utmost shall the star within thee bloom out in new life. He who knows the commencement of all things, free is his star from the realms of night. Remember, old man. I'm done talking. But holy shit. Emerald tablets are insane. Insane. You should probably go listen to them. This is from the Ancient Astronaut Archive. I think it's probably the best recording. And you have the text on the screen too. But I'm gonna keep playing because this shit's awesome. Within the bloom out in new life. He who knows the commencement of all things, free is his star from the realms of night. Remember, old man, that all which exists is only another form of that which exists not. Everything that has being is passing into yet other being, and thou thyself are not an exception. Consider the law, for all is law. Seek not that which is not of the law, for such exist only in the illusions of the senses. Wisdom cometh to all her children, even as they cometh unto wisdom. All through the ages the light has been hidden. Awake, O man, and be wise. Far neath the earth crust, in the halls of Amenti, mysteries I... Wake, O oh man, and be wise. The truth that was, that is, and that will be. Immortal Truth 2020. My friends, the doors are open. Awaken to the will of spirit. Awaken to the divine destiny. Your destiny.